In this video, we will look at some common types of batch data that are available. For example, on the screen we have continuous data, such as the reaction temperature or volume throughout the batch. Discrete data, such as laboratory samples taken once per batch, as well as batch context information, such as when batches start and end, which are known as capsules in Seq. Capsules can also contain properties such as the batch ID, potency, or other important data for each batch that can be accessed via the capsules pane. These properties can also be set as labels inside the capsules at the top of the display. Even if these different types of data are stored in different databases, Seq can connect these disparate data sources to visualize together. In Seq, there are three visualization options in TrendView. With calendar time, we view data based on the time period set on the bottom of the display. However, with batch operations, we often want to focus just on the batches and remove all downtime between batches so we can use chain view to view just that data. The third view is capsule time that empowers a user to quickly view batch overlays. Inside capsule time, the batches can also be colored per batch. For example, the batch selected shows all the signals in blue or the batches can be colored by gradient where older batches are lighter in color and newer batches are darker in color so that we can quickly visualize how batches are trending over time such as batch cycle time improvements. Seek also supports ISA 88 batch hierarchies of batches, operations, phases, and steps. To illustrate this, you can see that we have an asset tree structure underneath the batch condition that shows either all operations or individual operations, which could be drilled into C phases or steps within each operation. These conditions may have equivalent or completely different properties, such as an operation property that empowers the user to quickly visualize a Gantt chart of each batch. The ISA 88 batches, operations, or phases can also be used to perform analytics on the data, such as calculating the average temperature during the reaction phase for each batch. For more examples of analytics that can be formed in Seq, please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.